Rafi's Rambles. Rafi's Rambles. Rafi's Rambles. Rafi's Rambles. Rafi's Rambles. Hola, you amazing artists, and welcome to the studio on this very rainy, dreary, and extremely windy day, which is causing me to freak out. If you guys watched our last adventure video, you know that the last thing that we had to deal with was a giant tree branch falling from a very giant tree that is precariously located very near the house. Another storm day, and it's going to be windy. I'm on edge because of that tree. It is quite literally um, a problem for every single building or structure that's around it because during that windy storm the tree base was moving and it looked like it was gonna come down now it's been months since then and we've had people come out and look at it and say yes this tree definitely needs to come down and give us a quote which every single quote that we've received so far has been like oh fuck. you know that you are stressed out about something when you find yourself talking about it to everyone got a meeting with Tobias from Canvi. Canvi is a cool uh, art mock-up site that I love. They're a really awesome group of people. Is, is, is it still there? It's still there. It's still there. We got a we we had a few financial hiccups that came up. So like we're we're I'm gonna do a campaign where I release um, small works of art with it and mm -hmm. see if I could do a crowdfunding to raise money to. Get the tree taken down and to develop it for artwork you guys know that we moved in about a year and a half ago and since then there have been a lot of repairs and stuff and we really dipped into our savings in order to get ourselves situated unfortunately the work is not over when you're an artist it's very important that you maintain a good money mentality and that you maintain some kind of budget that's going to keep you going when times are a little bit slim. For us moving in and having to do repairs and drop literally like everything was like into thousands. There was nothing that was like, oh, this will only cost a hundred bucks to do. Everything was like th several thousands here or several thousands there. So needless to say, for the next year or two, Klee and I are in the process of getting our footing back when it comes to this thing that we do and being able to support ourselves and do what we do. There's still stuff that needs to happen with the house, such as the gutters. Right now, the gutters are in very poor shape. When the branch came down, it actually clipped our house. The gutters were already like kind of shitty. So yeah, we're going to have to do something. The gutters on the garage, the gutters on the house, this giant tree. Anybody that knows anything about foundations and water and gutters knows that that is not good, that that could really, really damage the structural integrity of your house. So I had that on my mind and was thinking of ways to budget for that now that we have the studio back up and running because the studio was closed down for a year, which also hit our budget as well. So I decided I was going to work on a project that involved the tree. That pile of wood over there. I want to do an art project to see if I could raise some funds to get the tree taken down because we really need to get it taken down, but we're not in a position right now to be able to afford to do it. So. so I diligently started working on this project and the idea was that it was gonna be called the Spruce Vamoose, right? Because it's a spruce tree and I was gonna create pieces from the tree and do pre-orders for them and be able to raise the money to get the tree taken down. And then I was gonna, it was gonna be a year long project where I dried the pieces and did these pieces out of wood. What I came to find out was that I absolutely and completely hated the project. I ended up with one piece that I was happy with, which is this piece here. And that was it. I am not selling that piece. I am keeping it as a testament to my dedication to creating something, but that's it. That's that's where it's going to live. The one piece created from the tree. I can now work on them in a way that was fun for me or really meaningful, right? Because for me, the artwork that I create is meaningful. It's not just to raise funds. I feel like crap. I know. Like I, I feel can like tell. crap. So here's the interesting thing. I really love working with wood, but for some reason, I just could not get it to do what I wanted it to do. No matter what I did, it just didn't, it didn't feel right. Ready to do the stuff and look, there's Kyle, our yard rabbit. Klee called him Kyle because she wanted to wake up every morning and be like, hey Kay. There comes a point during a project that you're working on where you really have to stop and ask yourself, am I doing this 
for the opportunity of the money that's going to come in from it or am I doing this because this is something that I really want to do? I don't know. Tell us what you need, Tree. <sighs> it's so big. Am I really creating this because this is something that I'm excited about or am I creating this because this is something that I think is going to be able to pay for that tree to come down. And in paying for that tree to come down, then I stop freaking out every time the wind picks up a little bit. Good relaxing day. Except for a few minutes ago when the wind kicked up and I felt Rafi's whole body clench. Yeah, yeah, the wind did kick up. So now my focus is gonna have to go to that tree. What can I do in a situation like this where like, you know, this, I have this thing lingering in the background of my mind like a dark cloud and it's having an impact on everything I do. New storm, it's coming our way and the weather channel is like, oh no. Yeah, but they're like, oh no, all the time now because they want people to use their app. <laughs> Fine, I don't have the finances for the tree or the gutter or whatever else it is that I need to get the finances for. What do I have control over right now? I have control over which projects it is that I work. I have control over what it is that I put out there. And most importantly, I have control over how I feel about what I'm doing. One thing that is really important to me is that I don't want to turn this into my corporate job. I've said this before, if I'm gonna do that, I might as well go back into corporate where I could leave the job at the door when I come home. This is a lifestyle, so I gotta make sure that I don't turn this lifestyle into crap. The other thing that I could do to really help my mind focus on what it is that I wanna focus on is focus on what is working. Instead of being focused on, oh, I can't relax until this happens, or oh, I can't do this, that's, Complete and utter bullshit. Of course I could relax. Of course I could be in a non-stress state. Of course I could be creative. And I know that that sounds all airy-fairy because people are like, focus on what you're grateful for. But let me tell you, your mindset, the way that you see the world is impacted by the way that you think. So if you're constantly thinking about the problems, all you're gonna see is problems. They're just gonna keep stacking up. And the other thing that I could do right now is relax, just relax. I am still here. I've gone through trials, tribulations, I've gone through hardships, I've gone through roadblocks, I've gone through all kinds of things, and I am still here, I am still capable, and I'm still able to move forward. It's really easy to focus on the problem, catastrophize, and think of all the ways that you are just stuck in that position. There is a severe thunderstorm that just popped out of nowhere saying that there's 60 mile per hour wind gusts which immediately get me nervous because of the tree that we have in the yard honestly you can't think of both things at once you are either focused on the problem or you're focused on the solution shameless self-promotion time so the 2024 calendar is still available i want to give a big thank you to everybody that ordered a calendar we still have a few left so if you want to have a Rafi calendar on your wall, that would be amazing. Just follow the link in the description. Also, I haven't given up on the Spruce Vamoose thing, but instead of doing pieces out of wood, we're thinking of doing a series of t-shirts that have Klee's tree puns. So yeah, so keep an eye out for that. And now back to the topic of discussion at hand. So me specifically, what am I gonna do with this situation moving forward? Well, I'm gonna contact more tree people, get more quotes, and I'm gonna work on stuff that I want to release. I'm very excited about certain series that I wanna re-release. And really the thing that's helped me move forward in my art career, in my life and everything is that, sure, at some point I'm gonna be focused on the problem, but eventually I figure out a way to get out of that mindset and get into a place where I'm focused on the solution. Because in that feel good place, it's much easier to focus on solutions and have your awareness open to any opportunities that might open up for you. Do I know exactly how this is gonna help me when it comes to the tree or the gutters? No. Is there a point to stressing out and worrying about something? No. Worry has never accomplished a damn thing in my life. Whether you're pursuing an art career and you're hitting all the roadblocks and failing and being rejected and all that stuff, or if you're just going through life and you have an issue with a damn tree in your yard. And that's it, you guys. Hopefully you found that helpful. This isn't typically something that I believe people share, but I thought it would be important to share this to show you like, hey, we all are going through some shit in some way, shape or form. Money is money. Money's gonna come, money's gonna go. 
you're either going to be riding that roller coaster and stressing out when it's dipping or elated when it's up. I think it's important to understand that the only way to really get through is to understand it's all going on in here in here and this is what you have control over and i'm curious to know you guys have you ever ran into like some kind of roadblock some kind of thing that you found yourself obsessing about and how it was that you pushed forward through that and just kept going and what the results were afterwards go ahead and leave that in the comment section below and i want to thank our rogue artist community thank you guys so much you're the reason that we're able to do these videos in the first place so thank you from the bottom of our hearts and thank you so much for watching you guys are absolutely amazing i totally adore you and if you like this and you haven't watched us before and you want to watch us go ahead and click over here to subscribe and other than that i've got stuff to do in the studio so i will talk to you later adios